Hi, and welcome to Lightroom Bite Sized. Now you're all looking great out there, especially you, uh, but you're looking fine too. Now in this episode, we're gonna look at how to maximize the workspace within Lightroom Classic. Now clearly the more space you have in the center of the screen, the easier it becomes to view your image while you're making those fantastic edits. So before we dive in, should we roll some titles? Yeah, come on, let's roll some titles. <laughs> Now before we start, a quick mention about the modules available in Lightroom. Now I only use two of the modules, so your Lightroom may look slightly different to mine, but I only use the library module and the develop module. Now if I click anywhere in this black area, it will reveal the missing modules. So I'm gonna click on there, show all. This is what you may well have. And as I say, I don't use any of these others. The only two I'm interested in is the library module where you know it houses all my you know hundreds and thousands of photographs and, and catalogues them. And of course, the develop module where I can make loads of fantastic edits and be really creative. I have no use for the others. You may find a use for them, but uh, I'm not going to cover any of that because there's better for me anyway. There's better ways of um, doing what these particular modules do. So I'm just simply going to shut them down and uh, the, the whole Lightroom Bite Size series will be based just on the library and the develop module. So let's take a look then at how we can maximize our space in the Lightroom environment. Now we're currently in the library module and uh, in the center of our screen is our work area. And because we're in the library module, I can see thumbnails of all the images in that particular folder. Okay, now I've jumped across to the develop module. Um, I, again, the work area is stays in the center. So your work area is always in the center. Okay, now back to the library module. Now surrounding that work area, we have four panels, one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the left hand side, and one at the right hand side. Now we can, if needs be, close these panels down. Now each panel has a small triangle. And if I click on that triangle, it will collapse that panel on the left hand side. And there you go, it disappears. Um, click on it again and it reappears. Now it's the same process for all four panels. If I right click on that triangle, I have more options. Perhaps I could sync, um, I wanna sync the left panel with the right panel. So if I select that, and then when I collapse this left hand panel, the right hand panel will disappear as well. Last one I'll show you is the auto show, a uh, hide and show. Now I don't use this one because it gets a bit annoying. So as you see, it's disappeared. If I wanted to reappear, I just hover the mouse over the triangle and it reappears and I can access the information. I don't particularly like that. Now you might find that really useful, but it's not for me. So I'm gonna switch that off. And I like to just keep mine on manual. Manual works great for me. If I want to collapse one of those panels, I just simply click on the triangle. Another function in Lightroom um, that will help you with um, creating more space is something called Lights Out. If I wanted to view my thumbnails uh, and make it a little bit easier to see them, um, I could switch off all the information that is surrounding the thumbnails. And we do that by pressing the letter L. L stands for Lights Out. And what will happen is the background is dulled out and you can see your um, image is a bit clearer. Now if I press it again, it goes completely black. And um, it's almost like looking at a, a negative, isn't it? I mean, I kind of like that. It makes things a lot clearer. So that's something you might find useful. And then to just return everything to its previous state, just press L again. Another way of getting rid of all the information surrounding the work area is just to simply press the tab key and the tab key will get rid of all the panels. Well, actually, it'll get rid of the left and the right hand side. Press and shift tab will remove all four panels. Then simply press shift 
tab again and all four panels will return. We also have the uh, full screen mode as well. So if you select a photograph, press the letter F, it will go into full screen. Uh, also while it's in full screen, you can actually use your arrow keys left and right to scroll through your images, uh, which is another great way of looking um, you know, in a bit more detail. Press F again will return to the previous state. Now one of the things you must do in Lightroom to maximize your space is this little trick I'm going to show you called solo mode. Now it's really important. So I'm just going to jump from the library module to the develop module. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. First of all, as I said earlier, I would collapse some of the palettes. I don't particularly need that one and I don't need the film strip along the bottom and I don't need that one. So I've got more space now. Now, if I wanted to make an edit on this particular image, say, imagine if I wanted to put a vignette around the outside, um, I would jump across here and here are all the editing tools. Now, as you can see, there's a hell of a lot of editing tools as you would expect. And I guess if you're working on a laptop, this, you know, the fact that you've got to scroll through all the palettes, all the tabs to get to the one you want, it can really slow you down and become really, and you can get lost as well. So what I'm looking for is the vignette effect, which is just here. Uh, and there you go, I could add a, a vignette around, for instance. Um, I wouldn't particularly do that in the shop, but just to show you. Now, what we need to do is with these tabs is make it easier to find what you're looking for. And as I say, what, the way we do that is we enter into something called solo mode. And to do it, we simply click on any of these triangles, it doesn't matter which one you click on. So if I clicked on this one and I selected solo mode, what happens is it closes down all the palettes and just leaves open the one that you are working, you know, that you're using at the time. If I wanted to change the background color in this photograph, I know I could do that using the HSL tab. And when I open that palette, I've got up the previous palette closes down. So again, I'm not teaching any editing at the moment, but there you go. I could just change the color very easy. Now I might decide then to put a vignette round, and I know that's in the effects palette. Now, when I open that, the previous HSL palette closes down. So as you can see, whenever I open, want, drop one of these tabs and to reveal a palette, the previous one closes down and that is fantastic um, way of saving space. Now I showed you that in the, um, in the develop module. So let's jump back to the library module. I'm just gonna reinstate these panels. If I jump back to the library module, it's exactly the same here. Um, right click on any of these triangles and enter into solo mode. And that's one of the first things that you need to do. And as I say, because when you open any of these, drop down these tabs and open a palette, the previous one will close down uh, and that comes in really, really useful. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, please hit the little bell icon. Please do everything that I've just asked you to do. <laughs> And um, I will see you in the next upload. Take care. Take a photograph and make the moment that's there perfect. Photo company. Take a photograph and make the moment that's with the perfect. Photo company.